Thank you, Sam. Uh, in terms of the numbers, I think we've had a turnaround here. Our top number, gross profit, which is a net revenue after all the pass-throughs and third-party costs came in at 2.2 billion Kenya shillings. That was a growth of 1%. Now, for context, we are coming off decline in our revenue growth, net revenue growth over the, first, over the last seven years. So to turn around and show growth this year has been applauded and we applaud the effort of the team. That growth was driven organically. Uh, there was no acquisition by existing products, our feed product that many of you might have heard of, Social and Performance, Optimus, another of our products that we are putting across the region, and also client wins. At uh, the end of last year, we won back Safaricom, the integrated media pitch, which we are so proud of. We also broadened our relationship with Coca-Cola across the region. We also have Henneken that we won last year, on top of so many other local wins. So the wins organically are what drove the top line growth. The other number worth talking about is our operating expenses. Last year, we had a one-time restructuring charge of 193 million. If you exclude that from our operating expenses, the expenses have been well contained. So we are moving in the right direction if you remove the one of course, which we needed to do. When there was a change of management, the cost structure was not aligned with the revenue. And as a new management team, we had to right size the cost base. So if we were to tell the story of WPP Scan Group, we are working heavily on the revenue vis-a-vis -vis the growth, but in addition, we are addressing the heavy cost structure, turning the organization to one that is more agile and flexible, able to react in real time, and thus the restructuring charge. Our theme this year is profitable growth. We are not taking on clients for the sake of taking on clients. We are looking at profitable growth. So we are reassessing all our client scopes, having discussions, albeit tough discussions with our clients, on how we can turn their scopes to be profitable. So on the revenue front, is a laser thin assessment of all our client portfolio, who is profitable and who isn't, and having conversations uh, for the scopes that are non-profitable. The macroeconomic factors are rough. Clients are reducing their spends, Inflation continues in many of the markets we operate in. FX changes across most of the markets that are unpredictable. But I truly do believe that the companies that are going to survive for the future are the companies that are focusing on AI, digital, and technology.